hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back again with another interesting video for those of you who are stopping by for the first time please be sure to subscribe like share and comment on this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back we have a good time on this channel okay. anyway guys um i'm back again with gloria i've been getting questions people asking what should you expect on the second uh interview uh, if you applied for cabin crew and Gloria attended that interview, the second assessment, yeah. and she's gonna share with us her experience. Gloria, welcome back again to my Thank channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you want to know what to expect on the second interview, in case you pass the first interview for the cabin crew, Gloria will share with us what happened and because she attended the interview. So, without wasting time, let's jump into today's video. <laughs> So Gloria, welcome back to my channel again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I'm always happy to be here. This is like home. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who don't know Gloria, we did a video with her. She works in Qatar Airways and she shared uh, how she got a job there as in lounges. So make sure you watch that video. I'm going to link it here. You also that you can know about other positions in Qatar Airways. Mm -hmm. But on this video, we just here to talk about cabin crew. Uh, I talked about the first interview assessment opening day. If you you pass the first interview, the second interview, they will give you a paper. What should you expect? I didn't get to attend the second interview because, yeah, you know what happens if you have been to any Katarewe's interview. But anyway, Gloria, mm -hmm. just tell us how your experience was with the... Because people want to know yeah. what should they expect for the second interview. So, uh, as you said, the first uh, the first day, it's usually like three days. So mm -hmm. the first day is uh, give them your CV. Maybe they'll just ask you like one or two questions or whatever. And then you impress them, uh, they'll give you a paper and then you'll come the following day. How should you dress up? Because on the first day, okay. Uh, most people are always like nervous. I've talked about how they can dress up there. There's a video about that. Yeah, especially that day, I saw uh, a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. I was also confused myself because you know everyone was everyone came with a different attire. Others business attire. Others you know home clothes and. Uh, I think people don't usually know or maybe don't usually read their email. When you're invited, you're specifically told to wear a business attire. Mm. Business attire doesn't mean that you have to buy expensive clothes or you have to, you know, go to whatever and buy expensive and buy ex things Dior, for Chanel. Yeah. No, you just have to be simple and mm. elegant. You just have to be in a just simple attire. You can have your blouse inside. You can have your coat, mm -hmm. a skirt or a trouser, mm -hmm. and some flat shoes mm -hmm. or heels. It depends. There are some people who prefer heels. There mm -hmm. are some people who prefer flats. But yeah. as long as you look good, if you have a skirt, it's it's supposed to be below, below your knee. Below below your your knee. knee. Yeah. Oh. It's, don't wear a uh, too much tight skirt. Don't wear too much baggy clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a skirt, make sure you have uh, some stockings inside. I think the best thing to do is always uh, try to Impressed. wear as they they dress. Exactly. They and normally wear stockings. And something simple is just wearing your skirt and some stockings and some black shoes or some heels, mm -hmm. which looks, I think, not uh, not a eight not inch, <laughs> six. <laughs> they will tell you to take them off when they are checking their... The arm reach. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, just a small, small inch of heels is fine. Mm -hmm. Not because also you don't want to oppress yourself you don't you want to be comfortable because also if you pass you have a long way to go yeah. interview can take half day it mm. depends so you have to be as comfortable as possible mm. so that the recruiters also can see you know what you're doing yes true, you know true. because you don't want the recruiter to find you removing your shoes and just standing like a you because know like a statue you just want to be in a comfortable uh, situation mm. so it's better to just wear something comfortable that day mm. For you to know that you are selected for the second interview, mm -hmm. they give you a paper they give you for a you paper. to attend the second interview. Yes. So on that interview, mm -hmm. that's what you say that you make sure you dress, uh, make sure you wear a skirt, yeah, a business a attire, business attire, yeah. and the uh, makeup should be very your simple. makeup should be simple. Don't overdo. Mm -hmm. Don't look clownish because mm -hmm. there's some makeup <laughs> that you look at them and yeah. you're like, bro, uh, <laughs> you have to calm down. Just have a very simple makeup. Just do your eyeshadow, do your eyebrows, mm -hmm. do put some lipstick. Make, make sure your nails are, you know, done well. Mm -hmm. 
not too much long you know the the, the nails that have sharp it's like clothes mm. feels like simple nails even yeah. mine are long but at least something something just one that, color. yeah something similar just one color you can have a pink a nude you can have a nude red. you can have a french mm. you can have a yeah mm. just something simple uh, make sure your hair is tied on the back mm -hmm. with a with a it's called with a net, net. if you can and a, and a really nice band mm -hmm. like make sure you look professional make sure you look stunning so that even when the recruiter sees you mm -hmm. she sees a well groomed person yeah. and that's it improves your you know chances to yeah. get selected because yeah it's true it the moment they set your eyes on you mm -hmm. they usually know is this person uh, qualified or not ah, yeah. just by your how, grooming how, yeah, just by looking at you just by looking the, uh, at the way you're acting just looking at the way you're responding whatever is coming out of your mouth make sure you it's very important, it's very important don't and talk you're too using much. Don't, the, don't have too many information don't have attitude mm. don't you know don't do too don't overdo just be uh mm. just be professional yeah. be professional and just be confident confident with yourself don't come with the chanel bag you know it's not a fashion show Gloria, please tell us uh, do you think it's important for them to just wear um uh like you know how waitress they wear yeah black and white yeah. just to be that yeah you can wear black and white mm -hmm. you can wear uh i mean you can wear gray mm -hmm. something not too colorful don't wear pink don't wear a full dress no just wear a, for me, what I prefer is just wear a, sh a shirt. Do you have a picture of you what you dressed that day? Yeah, I have a picture. We can uh, we can you put insert it, the yeah. picture on yeah. how she wore that day of that interview. Mm -hmm. Do they tell you on what to wear on the second interview, or it's just you to just figure it's it out? It's just you and your common sense. You mm -hmm. know, you're going for an interview. You know what you're supposed to wear. You know, and also it's usually written like you're supposed to come with a business attire. So. Mm -hmm. You you have to know what is a business attire. You you know the difference between a business attire mm. and the normal uh, other normal clothes. You know. Yeah. Please tell us with your experience. What did they ask you? What did they check? What did they say? Okay. So you're coming on your second day. Mm. Make sure you have your paper. Like on the second day, mm. they'll usually uh, tell you about Qatar Airways. Mm. They'll have a screen. They'll tell you about Qatar Airways, and mm. we are all seated there in a hall. Mm. You know. We are all nervous, we are all happy, mixed feelings because, you know, be, having reached the second day, you know, it's, you, a big thing. it's a big deal and you feel, yeah, you feel like you're already a cabin crew, you're almost, <laughs> you're, there. You're almost, you're almost there. there, so you, you are seated down, at least make sure you have your pen with you, I know they usually give you a pen uh, on your, you know, to write the, uh, because there is an English test, but you can just carry it just in case maybe, you never know. Uh, so after the, I mean, after telling you about Qatar Airways now, we will have the, and make sure again you remember your, there's a number they give you. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what was the name, mm -hmm. but there's a number they give you. So that number is the one that they'll be calling you with, not oh. your name. Oh, not your name, it's no, the number. it's the number. So the number that they gave you yesterday, mm -hmm. that is on your paper, mm -hmm. make sure you know it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's number Memorized twenty, it. whether it's number one, number two, make sure you know it because that will be your identification. Yeah. They won't know who's Gloria. They won't know who's Julia. Because there's so many people. Right? They don't care about you. They just care about the number. So oh. the number will just be here. So you'll be identified by that number. Mm -hmm. So after that, we'll sit down and we'll do your English test. Mm -hmm. After the English test, now we'll go out, relax a little bit, and then we'll come back to the uh, to the room. And then now they'll start calling the number. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you, if we call out this number, get out of the room. Wow. So if, you, if your number is called, mm -hmm. you get out of the room, mm -hmm. go going. End of really? Kendanga. Okay, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the end so of you. So it means that you didn't pass you the didn't English pass, test. Yeah, you didn't and pass the English, the English test. Are they like in tests like in schools? The Let body, me tell or you. Or it's just general questions? English test, that's the easiest exam you'll ever find mm. yeah for me because Can you remember passed. maybe one question and it's just pass. it's just general. general things like uh i went to the market in the market from the market like something like that ah, okay. and then they'll just give you the answers there oh so you choose just ABCD. choose so oh, it's like it's easy. like the things that you did in primary school mm -hmm. you know for grade grade one grade that's easy. That's yeah, easy. it's very easy, but mm -hmm. tricky. 
because you can be overconfident like you know I, this one is easy sometimes it's like that the easiest exams the becomes the hardest the hardest exam yeah. because you feel like you you, know. you you are overconfident and you you find you know you there are mistakes somewhere yeah. so you, ha- you don't be overconfident just you know be calm uh make sure you read the whatever well the questions well make sure you're answering the because again we have like 30 minutes okay. and it's like 30 questions oh. so it's like they have put one one question one, question, one, one minute. minute one question one minute so again you have to run with time mm. you have to you know again uh you have i can't remember if we used to circle or sh- yeah we we share the shade. answers uh-huh. So before you shed the before you shed you know it takes a lot of time. Yeah. That's one thing that ah. made people like not finish the exam because sometimes shading it, it will time. it will and you have to shed like all the stuff because it's like they have circle. Ah. Because when they are marking they they don't have time to they'll just be doing like this. I think there's a the answers are already here so they just put on top and they check you ah. it's going with the shading the, shading. the answers wow. are going with the shading so yeah, that's really yeah so you have to really shade like really da- so it takes time before shading <laughs> reading <laughs> shading it takes a lot of time so that's another tricky thing that mm. you have to learn about mm. uh so after you say that after you mm. done the the english test mm-hmm. you guys go out mm-hmm. and then they call you back inside the hall after they marked your english test mm-hmm. and you've just say that uh if your number is called mm-hmm. it means so they have to know their number so if your number yeah. is called yeah that's very important out, that's that what means that you didn't pass the second interview exactly but if your number was not called so yeah. what goes if your number is not called you'll just remain seated on your seat mm-hmm. and you'll just bring the sign of relief yeah you're like yes here i come you mm. know here i come and uh, after that the guy i think will go mm. so now it's we will wait now for there we wait for the second task mm. of the day so mm. after that now the uh, the guy will come and maybe will tell you now if we call out your name you have to no you know the way you have stay, uh, you have seated in the hall mm. they'll start at the back five mm. people go to that room five people go to that room oh. so now you'll go and start declaring your marks marks and scars and tattoos so how do they declare do they ask you to remove your clothes or do they ask you go to this machine where they check no. or you just you are the one who will be honest and say okay i have a tattoo here or i have or they are just looking at you to see if they have visible tattoo with the uh, with cabin crew mm-hmm. it's so tricky and uh One thing I'll say is uh, you have to be really honest about your scars and whatever. Mm-hmm. So you'll just sit down like here mm-hmm. and then the interviewer will be in front of you. The interviewer will start scanning you without even telling without you. Without even telling you he'll be talking to you asking you some questions like, you know, tell me about your favorite movie. Mm-hmm. And you'll be busy saying you I like Jackie Chan <laughs> and you talking and how you're expressing, expressing yourself oh. the way you're talking and then he'll be scanning you uh, that's me that's how you'll be talking to your to the guest on board and that's why it's very important to do your makeup exactly. try to hide do you know there's something of course it's not everyone who works here as a cabin crew they don't have a mark everybody has a mark but you have to really hide know it. how to to hide the mark you mm-hmm. you really know how to you really have to know how to, to do, do your makeup, makeup so that you can avoid uh, them yeah. seeing your scratches and scars and, and stuff mm. so uh, she'll be scanning you looking at you like you know mm-hmm, and then uh, what happened to you here tell me about this mark what happened mm. uh-huh and then first of all you will de- she will tell you to declare which marks do you have and then if you don't say the ones that she can see she will mm. ask you like uh, tell me about this mark You know so you have just to be or if your marks are visible on your hands on your face yeah, so on your feet wherever because just tell them because if they realize that if they see it even on your last day i know i told you of someone yeah. who got it until the end and then when the guy was signing his uh, contract mm. they saw a mark on the hand on the last day like after he has finished all the interview he has passed everything the last step like he just went to sign and they saw, they a, saw mark. a mark and i think this part 
do you think like these parts like visible visible parts like your hands your face and it was not even important. it was not here it was somewhere here you know mm -hmm. at the inner part so that's what i'm saying like you have to really and if you know like there's a mark there's a mark that you uh, that is really visible and you can hide it mm -hmm. just hide it yeah don't, for that day yeah for, for that, that day, day just you know just uh, contour, uh it's called what uh put concealer Conceal, or yeah yeah just conceal it and just you know just to avoid any unusual yeah. yeah so they just on that time they will check they will tell you to yes. declare your um, your marks scars, your, your, your marks yeah, your entire maybe there's some people who have this pimples marks and something and scars maybe childhood scars yeah. and tattoos mm -hmm. so if you don't have tattoos or if you don't have any scar do they ask you to continue or go back so home? after that mm -hmm. uh, you'll do the Ambridge test mm -hmm. during the uh, during that sitting they'll just tell you to uh, to wake up remove your shoes mm -hmm. and uh, do the Ambridge test oh. and then if you reach fine you you're good to go if you don't you are done for the day so after that, mm -hmm. they'll be writing. They'll be writing all your scars somewhere. Madam, yeah. sorry for disturbing. How much the food? Is it fine? Yeah, we're just gonna have it in like two oh. minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the ice cream was good. Yeah. It's, it's okay. What is this? So. This is the like sauce. Vanilla oh, sauce. vanilla sauce yeah, for the cake. Yeah. Okay. It's nice. It's I like it. If you need something, just tell me. Okay. Can you have more? thank you so uh, as you're saying your scars as you're declaring your scars your marks your tattoos they'll be writing somewhere mm. maybe they'll discuss is uh, is this a big deal mm. you work with her with this mm. and blah 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 if it's not a big deal then they will make you uh, pass or whatever and then um, if uh, if your scars are too deep if your marks are too deep if your tattoos are extreme mm. you're done for the day so after all that after after everyone has done that we will go back to the room again we'll sit down and the lady will come again with the papers number two number mm -hmm. ten and then you're there seated seeing all your friends uh, being called going out and you're like oh my god here we go <laughs> like that moment is the worst moment no moment knowing that you have always wanted something so bad and you've and reached then, this and you've the reached second, this point. i think the second interview is the big deal it's the, the third big. interview is nothing because the third interview is like signing your contract yeah yeah that interview is like at least you have you have you, have you, you are almost there mm. you have done everything that is required you know you're good now yeah. you're good to go mm. so that's uh, for me that was my end that was your last <laughs> thing thank, thank you. you so much thank, thank you. you so much uh for me that uh, was your the end of your journey that was the end of my journey <laughs> but to uh, be honest at least you tried. <laughs> i you tried, tried and it was a really good experience mm. i really loved it uh, i loved the day i made a lot of friends and we enjoyed the day yeah. don't go home like did angry you, yeah don't go home angry. don't did go they, home did you leave there happy because i was really I happy tried. you know there's that way you go to an interview and then mm. say mm. i tried let me tell you something if i didn't treat that step i couldn't be talking about it yeah i couldn't have you not have nothing i have to nothing talk about. so at least now i i you know i have the experience yeah. i can tell someone else what to do mm. i can advise someone else the the do's and don'ts yeah. you know at least the yeah. same thing you did here like you told us that day make sure pay someone to do your makeup and tell exactly. them make sure my makeup is minimum because i'm going to attend a don't even have high shadow don't put eyelashes yeah just a nice simple makeup i'll and remind you of something uh, uh i know she doesn't remember but i remember during my uh, my interview for my current job right now the face-to-face -face interview she did my makeup oh yeah <laughs> she did my makeup and yeah. i remember i went so late I was late and then I was like, you know, I have to do this makeup yeah, because she was very late. I was late. <laughs> so I was just telling her, no, no, don't do it. Just wait. Don't do it. <laughs> she was telling me, don't do it too much. <laughs> do you sure? Okay. Do okay. Yeah. I, I, I felt bad for her because no, she no, was really okay. trying. I understand. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want to do too much mm. also. You know, sometimes they can look at you like, you know, you look, you look like a clown. You look like, yeah. So I didn't want to overdo. Mm. And, I didn't, and by the way, that pushed me to even get this job yeah. because I got it with my confidence. You know when you when you when you have confidence when you if your instincts are like telling you you get this job. Yeah, just do, your do whatever do whatever you can to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Imagine pay a makeup artist for yeah. one day. True. 
Like sure. if 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 I was a, like okay, I, I, I am a makeup artist that day, but yeah. I offered to do her yeah. makeup. But then she trusted me to come to me and do her makeup for the it's, interview. Yeah, for the you interview. Know. So it's the same thing. You mm. can just like just someone you trust yeah. because there are some people who, you know are not to be trusted yeah if they do your makeup and they feel the makeup is too much they, they can just... do your makeup too much just to make you fail the yeah. interview you know they can be like no 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 they love this i so i did some other or, for, yeah, or for instance <laughs> mm. once you're in this for, what i can say is if you're in this process of applying for kataria risk try and go on youtube exactly How do I, but make sure you don't look like a clown if yeah. you can't do your eyebrows well do them very simple yeah because even then they know yeah they will train you but yeah. they really train people mm -hmm. on how they should do their makeup so don't worry so don't i i would rather you don't look like a clown yeah. you have a simple if you just do foundation yeah and, and eyebrows lipstick. and lip lipstick you're is good. very important you're good to go you're good to and go. your hair and your hair your hair is bad yeah yeah you see it's so good with um, natural hair <laughs> yeah, yes. guys. So that's it, I think, Gloria. I think that's it. You didn't, yeah. you didn't get to the. I didn't go past there. Yes. The following day, what I know is that they do a group test. Mm. So you're put in groups, mm. and then they ask you questions, and then they look at how you're interacting with your group mates. Oh. So the interview is just standing, and uh, you you are in a group of five, maybe six, and then the interview is there. And they uh, they will give you a question to discuss, mm. and then you're here. The other group is there, and maybe they ha uh, maybe like two interviewers. Mm. One will be here, the other, will, and they will be going around mm. checking, like uh, Gloria. How is she interacting? How is she, interacting? Is she don't be don't be those people who um, talk too much, especially mm. in a group. Uh, in a in a in a group, mm -hmm. make sure you listen. Make sure you don't you are you someone. don't distract like no 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 it's not like no just let the the other person finish first and then you know respond give everyone a fair chance to you know put in their thoughts mm. or you know give their opinions about the question that you know they have been presented with yeah. so that's what they check on the third day or maybe the rest of the day mm. uh, I'm not sure but yeah that's the next step that's the group test yeah so the, second, the group test yeah. you have ju you just have to listen. Mm -hmm and know when to respond and how to respond mm. that's it and once you pass that yeah and that's when they give you the contact yourself yeah guys i've i brought you someone who has been there she knows everything at least you can use this for your next interview yeah please as we just said make sure you look good kataria is all about standards standards grooming yeah Grooming is very important. Very important. If For the men, mm -hmm. let me uh, tell you about the men. Some, just something small uh, or whatever about the men. Mm -hmm. If you're a guy and you want to, you know, go for your interview, Kataria uh, interview, make sure your your hair is not like, is it called bald? Bald. Oh. Bald. Oh. Like, uh, you know, your head looks like my forehead. Oh, it's not short. No. Hair, bald, yeah. Make sure like you have uh, some, some hairs. hairs. Uh -huh. Yeah. And also make sure you don't have a beard. They don't like beards. Mm -hmm. Make sure you shave. Make sure you don't have dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't have uh, any locks, uh, any locks or, mm -hmm. or shaggy hair. Make sure your hair is neat and well combed. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a suit mm -hmm. and a tie. And a tie. Yeah. Make sure you look sleek. Make sure you look like you know, you like a cabin crew. Yeah, it's your day. Shine. It's your day. It's your day. Imagine yeah. if you get this job, how happy would you feel? If you don't get it, it's the same thing. It's at least you tried. You tried. Yeah. She didn't get the cabin crew, but I tried. But she she tried yeah. and she got the other one. Yes. So try apply for this, apply for that, apply for that. Try yeah. all of them. You never know. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's it. Gloria, that's it for, for today. today. <laughs> for those of you who are in the process of applying for Qatar Airways, I wish you all the best. Yeah. And I hope you've watched this video till the end. If you did, you can see I'm trying my best to bring people to at least to share their experience here. So what you can do for me is just subscribe because I've realized mm -hmm. like 90% of the people who are watching my channel, they have not subscribed. They should subscribe. Yeah, because only 10% I was telling subscribed. her. I was telling her like she's doing a really good job because uh, I have a lot of people who really watch her and they really love uh, what she's doing. You know, educating people on uh, these type of things nowadays. Yeah. It's, for it's me, good. if I want to apply for something, I'll go and Google it. I'll go and uh, I'll go on YouTube mm -hmm. and check. So 
the only way you can support her is by subscribing at least so that she can be bringing more she can have that you know add to bring more yeah. and more every day yeah. yeah and you're doing a good job thank you guys <laughs> thank you so if, if you have watched this video till the end please make sure you subscribe like share and do everything do the good things and i hope to see you online bye <laughs> bye